Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I watched a BBC Newsnight report about Twitch TV, the video streaming site. It wasn't very good, I'm gonna be honest. 3 minutes 35 of fairly ridiculous stereotypes, misinformation, misrepresentation, and frankly a fairly condescending attitude from a reporter that didn't seem to have really done his research. The opening line stated, Who would want to watch teenagers clicking away playing their video games all night? <laughs> you could not load one sentence with more condescension and obvious disinterest. Now, rather than attempt to dismantle this video piece by piece, which is frankly an exercise in futility and preaching to the choir, I would like to instead provide you with a short explanation of what Twitch actually is and why it is that so many people wish to watch this kind of content. This is the kind of video that's intended to be shown to somebody that perhaps doesn't understand, whether it be a friend or family member. This will hopefully give them some idea of what exactly is going on and and more to the point, why it's going on. Twitch TV is a website where people can go to watch other people play video games. This content takes various forms. The first and most popular are tournament broadcasts where extremely skilled professional gamers compete in sports-like tournaments for cash prizes. These vary in size from homegrown events played purely online to huge spectacles like the International Four, which sold out the Key Arena in Seattle and offered over $10 million in prize money. Another kind of content is commentated gameplay, where a streamer will narrate his experience as he plays a game on screen. The style of narration varies from humor-driven commentary to play-by-play, -play, educational, or simply stream-of-consciousness remarks on topics unrelated to the game itself. Twitch is also used to host talk shows and interview formats centered around the game's industry, and even specific video game titles themselves. So why would anyone want to watch another person play a video game? There are several reasons why live gaming content is popular. Firstly, competitive gaming tournaments have a similar appeal to sports events, where large crowds of people gather to watch a competition. Competitive video games are closest to televised poker or chess competitions, which rely primarily on wit and strategy rather than athletic prowess to succeed. They're often fast-paced and visually appealing games with a great deal of play variety, and most popular spectator games have user bases in the millions. This principle applies to all sorts of hobbies and sports. Just as you'd have a friendly game of football with your friends, you'd also watch the World Cup. Competitive video games work in the same way. Fans appreciate watching the highest level of play with a lot of prize money at stake. Because television doesn't generally broadcast these events, and fans of competitive gaming come from all over the world, Streaming video is the best way to watch this kind of content if you can't go to the event in person. Twitch is the most popular place to watch that kind of event. Secondly, even if a game is not competitive, it can still be played in a unique way. Games are an interactive medium, and to some degree, every person is going to play them a little bit differently. Gaming is a hobby like any other, and the desire to share your hobby with others is made much easier by the fact that you can broadcast it to the world free of charge. Those who enjoy the hobby also enjoy watching others participate in it, particularly if they do something differently. Many games are built around this idea of creative freedom. In titles such as Minecraft, you can construct almost anything your brain can stretch to, provided you have the patience and the talent. Watching a player express himself through a game such as this can be very entertaining. Thirdly, watching a personality play a game and commentate their experience is often enjoyable because their personality is engaging. He may have exceptional knowledge of the game that he can share, he may have a good sense of humour, he may just be an interesting person to listen to or have a soothing voice. The game is often not what attracts the audience, it's the person playing it. Imagine watching a famous sportsman practice and being able to hear his thoughts as he does it. Does that sound like interesting viewing? Many streamers are doing just that, and they're minor celebrities in their own right. Lastly, Twitch provides interactivity through built-in chat rooms, which makes the viewing experience social and interactive. It's also possible to talk to the streamer and perhaps receive a response, as well as interact with other viewers. It's like being in a crowd at a stadium. There's a social aspect to it. It enhances the experience. It's fun to watch with other people. I mean, why do you go to the movies with friends and family? For the same reason, it's a social activity. The interactive nature of Twitch is unique and provides a different experience to pre-recorded television programs. Instead of just yelling at the TV, on Twitch, the TV sometimes yells back. Gaming is not a niche or weird hobby. Even 30 years ago, the Nintendo Entertainment System sold over 60 million units. The Nintendo DS, released in 2004, has sold over 150 million units. Gaming is not the sole domain of antisocial nerds, it's very much mainstream. Almost everybody plays or has played a game at some point, and like any other hobby, some people are more engaged in it than others. The market for video game content has always been there, but it's only recently that sites like Twitch and YouTube have allowed it to flourish. Television has not catered to gaming, despite it being one of the most dominant forms of media on the planet. 
As a result, gamers looked elsewhere and created their own form of TV. Many of us have always wanted to watch content about our favorite hobby, and now with YouTube and Twitch, we can do just that. Long story short, games are interactive, fun, and everybody plays them differently. That caused people to demand and create their own content around video games. The spirit of competition is in all of us, and video games allow us to express that. With potentially infinite airtime and channels, Twitch has a great deal of choice. It's a service that exemplifies our on-demand culture and desire for choice in our entertainment. Many people, as it turns out, have chosen to watch video games.